Uh, three weeks after the murder of eight people in Capedo of Baringo County and families of the slain victims are still mourning as they wait for word from relevant authorities on the release of their loved ones' bodies. Family members of the slain victims of the Capedo killings are still mourning their loved ones. Since the 29th of April, the village of Maya Menyan in Tiati constituency has been in a state of sadness as they await word from the government on logistics concerning the burial of their loved ones, which are still lying at the Cabernet Hospital Mortuary. <laughs> According to the Pokot culture, when such a calamity strikes, mourning continues for a period of one month. They further observe the behavior of the moon, and once the full moon appears, it marks the end of the mourning period. Technically, no retaliation can take place during this mourning period. Todomuk Chepchosiru lost her last born daughter on that fateful Saturday. Her sole appeal to the government is for the killers be brought to book. Losireng Rus lost his father in the attack aged 89 years old. <laughs> Maremu tusirike nambaye hame mwili yake iko mochari kabarnet ichuku iletwe yalafu iandaliwe mashishi ako na watoto tano ambao wako shule tunaomba serikali aweze kusaidia tunashangaa kwa sababu ni yeye ni mama alienda nilimtuma mtoto msichana ya msichana aenda nunue fitu kashangaa kwa nini ni mwanamume kiasi gani ama mwanaume gani aweza kuwa mama at Capedo Shopping Center, residents complain that they have been locked out from accessing other parts of Baringo County since the attack took place as they fear for their lives. It has, it has affected business and also traveling. You cannot travel uh, due to insecurity of the road because our neighbors actually are not good now. We are not in good terms because of what happened. And I'm sorry because of what happened in Capedo recently. Uh, the shooting which happened here was not good on public interest because we are not happy. Victor Gale, KTN News, Baringo County. So the Agriculture Cabinet Secretary and his Principal Secretary appeared before the Agriculture Committee of the National Assembly today and it is emerging that the food shortage in the country may have been deliberately orchestrated. That has been the basis of our big question discussion. We are asking you... Should the CS in the Ministry of Agriculture, Willie Bet, take responsibility for the current food shortage? Keep those texts and tweets coming. We shall be sampling some of them during this live newscast.